Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. This channel is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please leave. Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Mezco's, the Mezco Con Fall 2020 Bodega Box. Say it with me, Bodegas. Yes, very good. This thing is awesome. I love that the fact that this box is pretty much a, a, a store that you could use with your other figures. And the design works awesome. We got the grub there, got a payphone. I mean, we don't even see payphones anymore. Uh, all the detail in there. We got a little Sasquatch dude, trash can. Uh, Gomez, it's a lot of cool things that are on this box, and it has an image on every side, top, bottom. It's awesome. The right side of the box, it does have the sucker punch pizza, and we got ourselves a pink skull member walking around with some pizza. He's getting pooped on by a pigeon, and he's dressed up like one of the gangs in the Warriors. On the back of the box, we got another part of the building we got another pink skull member he's running we got a pigeon up there probably doing some surveillance we also got vapor here who's from the hoods line tagging the the i guess the security door for the store or whatever the shop is or building that's pretty awesome uh boom boom right there baron benz a dog just peeing on a hydrant so maybe we're going to be getting a pet of some sort to go with gomez and we have hazard squad gomez going down the fire escape Left side of the box, we do get a, you know, crosswalk light and everything. And then we got Gomez dressed up as another one of the gangs from the Warriors chasing another Pink Skull member. So we got three Pink Skull members dressed up as the baseball gang in the Warriors. I don't know their the gang names off the top of my head, so don't kill me. But it's cool that they have all these little details. And we even get a little rat at the bottom there. The bottom of the box is a road with a sewer manhole cover that says Mezco with a turtle hand coming out reaching for the pizza that just got ran over. And uh, some people were thinking that we were going to get Mezco Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but uh, Mez during his interview debunked that. On the top of the box, we got Mez. It's painting up the Mezco logo on the roof with some pigeons flying around there we got boom boom we got one of the meds it's break dancing and then we got that mezco con fall 2020 sticker slapped on top of the box now when you lift up that flap initially the whole front store changes we got this dude in the window the grub is over there telling the sasquatch not to be picking through the trash it's again this whole box is full of cool little easter eggs and it's 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 awesome i love this box the interior of the box is pretty dope. We got Hazard Squad Gomez holding on to somebody. It's probably Mez or something. I don't know who that is. Just some random dude being held as he's climbing the Empire State Building with biplanes flying around. Just the whole King Kong reference. And it looks great. And this is what inside the box looks like. Good old tissue paper on top. Slide that out. And tons of goodies. Now, once you take everything out of the box, you can see more of the image. You've got the pink skulls climbing the side of the building. One's falling. Or they're cleaning. They got squeegees. So I guess they're cleaning the building. We got a pigeon angrily flying towards you. And then uh, we get some more. <laughs> like, look at the pink skulls. What the heck are they doing? Like, that's crazy. It's all hidden inside the box, but it's hilarious at the same time. And then, of course, when you're looking at the other side... Got some more fun characters right there. I don't even know what that little dude is. Looks like a living burrito or something. Now, just like every other Mezco tradition that I do, I always start with the Mezits. This one comes with a uh, very city-fied Mezit packaging. It uh, has the manhole cover. It does say the Stinkle Crew. And then on the back, it just says many Mezits and all the legal mumbo-jumbo. But let's go ahead and... Uh, Get the stinkle. <laughs> let let the stinkle out of the bag. Oh, 
<laughs> okay. So we get ourselves a black mezzet and uh, he does have a gray M on it. But then we also get a really cool little, <laughs> a little baseball cap. And as crazy as this may, may seem, but this right now with the hat on, I'm just waiting for him to be like, Dr. Jones. You know, just, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a nerd. But yeah, anyway, so we get him with the hat and he also comes with a little baseball bat. So he can be jumping out. You know, cracking people over the head. You know, I don't know who he'd fight for. I think he'd fight for Gomez, you know, or the Pink Skulls. Or are they just their own little gang of ruffians? Now, basing off the mess, I, I think this is why we got it. But we did get a Rumble Society little baseball bat. And this thing is, it's it's little. But you can hear, it's 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 wood. It's like one of those baseball bats you'd get. From like a baseball game. We also get this Mezco Subway token. It says buy collectors. Four collectors in a nice plastic case. And on the back. It says good for collectors. And I know Mezco said to keep a hold of this. So I don't know if they're going to be doing something fancy with this. Or what. But this thing looks pretty cool. And it will look great if you have a Mezco display. We also get this 112 scale pizza. From Sucker Punch Pizzeria. And you got that chef that's usually with that smirk on the box he's getting punched in the face probably because he has that little smirk and uh this thing is cardboard looks great it actually feels like a, a miniature pizza box done really really well and then when you open the pizza we get ourselves the full pie and then one piece does come out and it's it's very very it's just pretty much rubber and i'm sure if you took like a blade or something you could probably cut this up or you can keep it as is, but it's it's a rubber pizza. We also get some stickers for your car window. So you can have Gomez, Grub, or Boom Boom on your window or all three. We also get a Hazard Squad Gomez sticker. It's a cool image. It's just so weird seeing his mouth open like that. It's just like, I feel like if the mouth wasn't open, it would look even more badass. We also get the Hazard Squad mini comic, which, you know, looks pretty cool. It's done in that old style comic. One of the biggest items that comes in the box besides Hazard Squad Gomez himself. I mean, we get a double tray of weaponry right here. We get a crate that we've seen before with that monstrosity of a Mezco John Wick figure. This one is painted green. I mean, the, the crate was awesome. Like, I love the crate that came with John Wick. So getting another one of these is awesome. It's painted green. It's got some shading. Looks like wood. We got the metal painted nicely and dry brushed. Very, very cool. I, I like it. Now, when you get this, you don't want to just open it. You got to push sort of this back slightly, and then you lift. Because there's a little lip that hooks in, and if you go to lift it up, you're going to break this front piece off. And then same with closing. You can sort of push it back a little bit. But when you open this bad boy, yes, it's cool. It opens, but there's no trays or gun supports or anything like the wick one had so this is just a hey dump all your extra mezco weapons in this crate which i'm okay with because you know you can never have enough like weapon storage and this would be great on display and then you can just load it up or make your own custom shelves or dividers one of the items we get is a grappling hook that we've seen before it's painted silver you know and uh the amazing vouches for these grapples i mean he says these things can hold the weight of a mezco figure and he's done it with some of his shots so i mean it's cool i'm not into grapples but still cool that we got it we get a pair of futuristic looking pistols and a lot of these weapons we've seen before i don't know exactly what figures came with what but we do get a pair of black casted tr silver dry brushed future pistols you got this sword um and again i don't know which one which figure this came with i think kgb's I'm not too sure, but either way, we get this like cloud looking sword with dings and stuff. Looks pretty cool. Weird little nodules on the bottom, almost like it would have like a thruster. And then uh, we got the handle right there. It's all blurry. There we go. And it's all done really nice. I don't, I don't know what the hell this is. Like it almost looks like you'd have like thrusters, like to give it more force to attack or something. We get four of these smoke grenades, and uh, again. 
A lot of these are just casted in black plastic with a silver dry brush, which is good enough. Here we have two pistols. Again, we've probably seen these before. The slides don't move, the magazines don't drop, but the grips actually look decent. I would say that these might have came with the John Wick figure, um, but the handles, the stippling and everything look a lot better. <laughs> they just don't look like melted plastic. Here we got that BFG that came with, uh, I think it came with cable, to be honest. It looks pretty awesome and massive. Um, the chambers inside, they do move like you gotta i don't know why they made it where they can move because there's nothing conveniently there to to make it move like you can't like slide this out or anything like i don't understand how to get that to spin it's it's definitely a loose piece and, and it does spin and uh one thing that sort of is a bummer <laughs> look at the warping that this thing got in package like it got hella warped and uh it, it's still a good looking gun i just gotta get this to straighten out and all these guns that i'm showing they all have like the ports like they normally would to put on effects and stuff like that but this one this one's pretty cool here we got a nice marksman rifle tons of sculpt work in this thing everything looks great i love the scope i like the barrel you know and again you got the hole there but what's good is the magazine comes out it has the bullet sculpted and you really can't see it. there you go um but not only does that come out, but you get an extra magazine for this gun. Now, I saved the best for last, in my opinion. I love the G36, and this thing looks great. The sculpt work, everything looks phenomenal on it. And it even has the magazine. Again, the magazine is removable. It has the bullet sculpted in. And you get an extra magazine for this one as well. Now, one thing I just wish we would have got would be the drum magazine. Um, the one that I classified in, in all the games is the, the nutsack clip because you got double drums on each side and it sort of pops up in there. I wish we would have got that with this. It would have took it over the top for me, but I'm glad I got a G36 for my figures. I just wanted to show you that in this weapon case, man, like you could fit all the weapons plus more. Like there's a lot of room in this trunk. In the end, all the swag that you get it's pretty awesome. I enjoy a lot of it, and especially having all those weapons, like that right there is a huge selling point for me. And plus, you know, a full-size pizza in a pizza box. I mean, a lot of cool things we can use with our other figures. But that sums up my unboxing and review of the Mezco Con Fall 2020 Bodega Box. If you guys like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for me. It doesn't cost anything. Just hit the little subscribe. It'll mean the world to me. And if you want to know when I post up a new video, hit that silver bell notification so you get that alert. And I want you guys to make sure you check out Toyco Toys and Collectibles. The website's down below. There's a promo code just for you guys to get free shipping off of anything off the website. And make sure you guys check out the Toyco Pre-Order Facebook group. You can join in. Again, doesn't cost you anything to join in. And you can see what's coming out. And if you want to take dibs on some of these pre-order prices, you definitely can. Because Toyco definitely has the best pre-order pricing when you're looking at imports and collectibles. So definitely check it out. I want you guys to have the best luck hunting Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day.